we failed to launch our Black Friday offer, right? And I'm grateful that we failed or we did not. We could not because we couldn't finish everything that we needed to do by then. However, it's not about our half-assed offer that got long that could have gotten launched that i'm not going to talk about the half ass offer or half baked offer that we could have launched and we did not and whatnot it's more about a lesson that i learned by not able to be able to uh, launch it number one is since yesterday yesterday was officially thanksgiving here in the u.s and today is officially the well it's almost 4 a.m 10 minutes to 4 <laughs> So it's officially the, uh, uh, you know, start, Black Friday has already started. But one thing I've noticed is my inbox and my Facebook news feeds and everything else is full with Black Friday offers, right? So, and I was, guil I'm guilty of this as well. So I would say that, and I used to, you know, think and tell all our clients, hey, we should do a Black Friday offer. But come to think about it that, you know, we are just going to add more to that noise and we would get lost into that in that noise. Right. Because everyone's talking about noise like, you know, it's just like in a fish market where every hawker is hawking and yelling and screaming. And it's just too noisy. Right. It just gets at a point of uh, where uh, it's a, let me see what's that. OK, so it just gets to a point of. Uh, you know, where we cannot, no one can hear anyone else. So that's good that, you know, we kind of did. And then that's a realization I have, like, you know, Black Friday is not necessarily the best thing. It's like, you know, the, any medicine you take, the first time you take only like in a half a pill or one pill is enough. And over time, since you take it every day or if twice a day, and then over time you have that one medicine doesn't do anything. One pill doesn't do anything. You've got to take two or three more, right? You have to take two or three more. And eventually you've got to keep, uh, uh, Susan, yeah, it's please don't worry uh, that you didn't get and in fact, it worked out pretty well. And so that's what I'm talking about. So number one I talked about is um, Black Friday, too much noise, too much noise. I mean, you know, and it's just people are conditioned to like, you know, so the history of Black Friday, at least from what I know in the US, it started is because the day after Thanksgiving is the official day for the shopping for Christmas. And this is when retailers actually turn uh, from red to black because they they lose money the rest of the year and they make money here in the uh, this time period they make the most money they make the eleven months worth of money in this one month and then they basically go to start it's like somehow down the line you know they have started this you know they gotta entice users or purchasers or whatever we call them shoppers that with this crazy discounted deals. Right, so that they come into the store and do the purchase that they would have been doing anyway, and that's my second point, right? Uh, you know, which is, I mean, I got offers from you know various vendors, which obviously I would never buy from, just because I'm not like you know. For example, we got uh, we bought a car from Carvana earlier this year, and they again sent us an email, uh, sent me an email saying, "Hey, buy a car, we can give you a thousand dollars off," as if like you know, car is like a shirt or a, you know, we buy it like you know every six months. Right. Uh, that's a story for a different another day. But, you know, it's good for someone who is probably thinking of buying a car through Carvana, which, again, is an online uh, play for buying used car without having to go and haggle with a dealer. Um, so where I'm going with this is like, you know, it's like, for example, my host, one of my hosting companies I use is SiteGround. I knew they're going to come with a Black Friday offer. Right. And they did. And their offer, and I, I had to buy new side ground hosting again for another, you know, client of ours. I've been holding it off. And guess what? They are offering 75% off now. So what essentially happened, look at this way, and if you do the math, is I would have purchased anyway at 100%, but I knew that the Black Friday, it's so close to Black Friday, it's going to come. So if we hold up for two or three more weeks, we're going to get a crazy discount. And now they're going to get a new, again, a new account, but at 25% of the value of the 25 percent of the value of the account so they're losing so they're basically conditioning shop their clients visitors and everyone to buy a discount right it's more psychological like you know they're conditioning us to make you know hold off from a purchase and i remember back when uh, when i was in college my friend 
uh, he needed to buy a jacket. Uh, he came from India and he didn't have a jacket. And obviously winter here in the DC area uh, can get very, very cold. So what happened was he needed a coat jacket, but he was like, no, Sajid, we need to wait. I need to wait. I'm waiting for the Black Friday deal to come in. So what's what's with that? Well, basically where I'm going with this is like, you know, Black Friday is not necessarily you know, luring new shoppers and things like that. It's just a marketing I think What happens individually is we are tapping into the same customers who would have purchased from our store, from our business anyway, but we have basically conditioned them and given and have, they have this and made them have, or conditioned them and give, they have, they've adopted this bad behavior where, uh, they are waiting for the discount, so thereby not making the purchase decision upfront, right? And now we are getting this from the same you know, customer, we are getting lesser money and we're making less profit. So for big businesses and the billion dollar businesses, multi-million dollar, hundred, hundreds of millions of dollars of businesses, maybe this makes sense, right? They're too big to, uh, you know, figure this out shit, uh, sorry, this thing. And um, and that, that works for them. But for small to medium sized businesses, that's doing anywhere between 10 to say 25 or $30 million a year. Or even like, you know, 100,000 to say $30 million a year. This is still considered a small business according to the definition. Uh, they don't necessarily have to, uh, you know, get into this wave of Black Friday. Oh, we got to offer a Black Friday deal. We got to offer a Black Friday. So in a way, it's good that, you know, we didn't all launch our Black Friday offer deal. So what now what we are thinking of doing is uh, we should uh, offer uh, something afterwards, right? And this, this, again, the point, first point was too much noise. We would have gotten like, you know, lost in the noise unless we did something very crazy in terms of design, in terms of an offer and just make it like, oh my God, 90% off. Yeah, dude, I'm getting customers at 90% off, but unless my price, my profit margin was really, really uh, high, or I had really, really artificially inflated the price, imagine if I do 90% off, yes, I'm getting customers, but I'm not making money in the front end. Isn't that why, business, isn't that why most businesses go into uh, trouble or go into go out of business? It's because they're doing this crazy offer, right? They're doing this crazy offer scheme and they're doing this crazy offer where they don't barely make money, right? Like yesterday evening on the way back from a Thanksgiving dinner from a friend's house, I had to stop by at Walmart to pick up something. Literally, trust me, I wasn't there for, uh, and it was about 7.30, 7, 7.30 p.m., right? And Walmart was buzzing. Like people were like filled. Like they were like full policeman for security at plus Walmart security and they were like crazily shopping away. Uh, because especially in you know, this one company I've never heard of, they were giving out a 16-inch LCD TV for, or LED TV, 4K LED TV for $200. People were gobbling it up like, you know, oh my God, this is like some things. And I was like, $200 for an LED TV is being sold at Walmart. I mean, imagine this manufacturer has not made any money or someone has not made money. How can you sell a 16-inch LED TV, 4K LED TV for $200? You cannot right? Walmart has to pay for inventory, the space and everything else. But that's just a crazy offer to get shoppers into the store and there's people are picking it up and leaving it. So someone is not making along the way, right? Or someone is making maybe f uh, five cents or 10 cents or 50 cents along the way just to do market penetration. And maybe that's a strategy that works, but overall it doesn't work. So long story short, uh, I don't think Black Friday offers are necessarily for everyone, especially you know, I would, we didn't do it and I'm glad we didn't do it and we are not gonna, um, we are gonna hold off. Uh, if someone's, I mean, our product, I mean, you know, is truly uh, that good, people are gonna buy it regardless. I don't wanna people, I don't wanna fight with 20 or 30 or 50 other brands that people have been considering and fight with them and launch a crazy offer at 90% off. If that's the offer we are gonna give, right then we might as well offer that same thing in january or february and basically have their attention and not be able to fight with someone else right <laughs> that's one number two is if uh, our pri if we are gonna compete uh, you know the other thing is people are gonna say oh we need to give them an excuse to be able to uh, you know give them the urgency and scarcity right that's it plays black friday offers plays into urgency and scarcity 
right? Urgency and scarcity, and that's one of the marketing tactics. Like, you know, act now, limited time offer, or you're gonna lose it, we have 50 offers. Like this morning, just this morning, I got an email from one of these businesses, small business, local small business. They said, oh, this offer is gonna end as soon as, you know, 50 people purchase it because it's so crazy, right? And it says photo studio, and they're gonna, they're trying to sell, pre-sell, their package for 2020 that like, you know, if you and they do headshots so they're like saying if you pre-sell we only give it to 50 people so what's what's wrong with this is like first of all that's a lie i know this for a fact because there is no way their you know marketing campaign is not tied to like you know 50 and then it's so it's closed but so they're creating fake urgency fake scarcity the urgency is like, oh, it's only for one day. Scarcity is only 50, 50 pieces, right? So they're creating fake ones and they're duping people into that and making people to buy uh, a headshot package for next year. Uh, it doesn't have to be that way. It doesn't have to be a fake crap, right? You don't have to do that. I mean, you know, that's ethics. To some businesses, it may work. So now where am I going with this? And you can ask, Sajid, what's wrong with this? Uh, well, I'm saying is like, if you're gonna do this fake crap, you can make it up anyway. Like, oh, today is my dog's birthday. Yesterday was my, you know, whatever. My gatekeeper's, you know, anniversary. And we decided we're gonna celebrate that by giving you a 90% discount for 24 hours to the first 50 people. You can make this crap up. You don't need to piggyback off, off of, uh, you know, any big event where, you know, there are, thousands of other retailers right offering and then you know basically this going into an offer fatigue is where i'm going with this right so don't make up crap i mean number one i mean you know you're gonna make you're gonna lie you're gonna make up crap uh, please do uh, that's your you know decision prerogative i'm no one to tell you but i would i don't prefer to do that i just don't want to live life like that way um so uh yeah so that's where all my thoughts are which is it not necessarily, it's a bad thing that if you failed, I know Susan earlier who mentioned that she couldn't get her offer up for Black Friday and I, Susan, I was, you know, if you're still listening and if you're not, I will just tell you that, you know, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's a good thing, actually, in a way. We're standing away away from the crowd, standing out of the crowd. Like, don't we say that uh, rise, stand, don't be average, stand away from the crowd or be different so that you're st standing up? We talk about it, we love that, but again, we fall into this trap of, or we get seduced into doing, oh, we got to do this uh, Black Friday offer, right? Uh, so, all in all, I think I've been up for almost 10 minutes. Uh, it's, I spoke too much, uh, too much longer than I thought I wanted to. Uh, stay away. Uh, stay away from Black Friday offers, come up, and also Cyber Monday. Cyber Monday. And the last thing I will tell you, and which is why one of the reasons why I never gave discounts in my um, business at Hubdaka, or I did and now I stopped, is because you are attracting a different set of customers if you're offering discounts, dip discounts, right? Now, if you are a commodity or if you are like in a generic product, like, you know, soap and, you know, whatnot, and you will not really have interaction with your clients or customers, that's a different thing. But if you are going to have to work with your customers and you have to engage with them to at a certain level, you want to make sure you basically bring in people with the right mindset, right? And this goes back to the other video I shared the other day, which is how I screen my new clients. I mean, you don't want like people who are always looking for discounts because they are going to hold off from pulling the trigger because they, guess what? They're your client, even though they have the right personality, but they're not going to be able to pull the trigger because they're going to be like, oh, when is your next offer coming up? When is your next offer coming up? Would you want a customer like that? You know, who never really opens up their wallet, just opens a little bit, gives you a little bit. It's like feeding you a little bit of money and then like, you know, they're going to wait and they're going to wait till the next offer ju jumps in. So if you don't want to do that, uh, so, you know, stay away. I talked about everything else, but that, that comes to my mind. Obviously, I kind of blabbered on for a few minutes extra because, you know, obviously I didn't write things down. I just say things as it comes to my mind. So Black Friday is not necessary. It's, it's actually, I think it's a, it's a bad, bad deal. Black Friday, Cyber Monday, uh, you know, some guy was like, you know, offering 50% off on his mastermind, which is about, comes down to about like, you know, 3000 or $5,000. I was like, dude, why the hell are you offering it now? Why did you not offer it some other time? And I would have just bought it because right now, this is the time of the year where uh, we want to do shopping for our Christmas is meant to be doing shopping for, you know, f f 
close ones, family members, and not necessarily, uh, you know, everything else. And I wonder how many people are help put a store in the black, but will put themselves in the red, right? Will pr probably end up spending more money that they don't have, which is they're going in the red, right? Red means, you know, subtracting, it's, they're in the negative, but the stores are gonna be uh, black, which is positive. It will be very interesting to see if someone ever did a math like that. Anyways, uh, you know, hope you liked it. Uh, it's just like, take care until the next thought, which probably is going to be about 4 a.m. tomorrow morning. Bye.